Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. I am Guthrie Chamberlain and we are on day 2408 of our trek. The purpose of Wisdom Trek is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. In today's Wisdom Nugget, I'll guide you through the vast landscapes of biblical wisdom. Today we're delving into Psalm chapter 5 verses 1 through 6 from the New Living Translation. This psalm, written by David, is a poignant prayer for guidance, protection, and justice. So let's journey together through these verses to uncover the profound truths that they hold for us today. Psalm chapter 5, verses 1 through 6. O Lord, hear me as I pray. Pay attention to my groaning. Listen for my cry for help, my King and my God. For I pray to no one but you. Listen to my voice in the morning, Lord. Each morning I will bring my request to you and wait expectantly. O God, you take no pleasure in wickedness. You cannot tolerate the sins of the wicked. Therefore, the proud may not stand in your presence, for you hate all who do evil. You will destroy those who tell lies. The Lord detests murderers and deceivers. David begins this psalm with a heartfelt plea. O Lord, hear me as I pray. Pay attention to my groaning. Listen to my cry for help, my King and my God, for I pray to no one but you. Verses 1 and 2. These opening verses are rich with emotion and desperation. David is not just speaking words, he is groaning, crying out from the depths of his soul. His appeal to God as my King and my God reflects a deep personal relationship and acknowledges God's sovereignty and authority over his life. In our lives, there are moments when we feel overwhelmed and our prayers become more than just words. They become cries for help. David's approach teaches us to bring the deepest emotions and needs before God recognizing his sovereignty and readiness to listen. This encourages us to be honest and vulnerable in our prayers, knowing that God is attentive to our cries. Verse 3 reveals David's commitment to regular prayer. Listen to my voice in the morning, Lord. Each morning I bring my request to you and wait expectantly. David makes a habit of seeking God every morning, starting his day with prayer and bringing his request before the Lord. The verse highlights the importance of consistency in our prayer life, Starting our day with prayer sets a tone for the rest of the day. It aligns our hearts and minds with God's will and reminds us of our deep dependence on Him. David prays and waits expectantly, demonstrating his faith that God will respond. This serves as a reminder to develop a regular prayer routine. By beginning each day with prayer, we acknowledge God's presence and invite Him to guide us through the challenges and opportunities ahead. Waiting expectantly shows our trust in God's timing and His answers to our prayers. David transitions in 4 and 5 to reflect God's nature. O God, you take no pleasure in wickedness. You cannot tolerate the sins of the wicked. Therefore, the proud may not stand in your presence, for you hate all who do evil. Here, David contrasts God's holiness with the sinfulness of humanity. God's intolerance for the wicked is a clear theme, emphasizing that evil and sin cannot coexist with his holy nature. These verses remind us of the purity and holiness of God. He utterly opposes sin and cannot tolerate it in his presence. This is a sobering reminder of the seriousness of sin and the importance of striving for righteousness in our lives. The proud and those who do evil are contrasted with the humble and the righteous, highlighting the attitude and new behavior that's pleasing to God. We are called to examine our lives and attitudes as we reflect on these verses. Are there areas of pride and sin that you've taken root in your life? Recognizing God's intolerance for wickedness encourages us to pursue holiness and align our lives with His standards. Verse 6 continues the theme, focusing on specific sins. You will destroy those who lie. The Lord detests murderers and deceivers. David emphasizes God's judgment against those who lie, murder, and deceive. These actions are particularly abhorrent to God and warrant His severe judgment. The mention of liars, murderers, and deceivers highlights the sins that deeply harm others and disrupt the community. Lies and deceit undermine the trust and relationships, while murder is the ultimate act of taking another's life. God despises these sins and underscores His commitment to justice and righteousness. This is a call to integrity and trustworthy in our lives. We must strive to be honest and trustworthy, avoiding deceit and harm to others. God's judgment against these sins serves as a warning and a motivation to live in a way that reflects His character. As we reflect on Psalm chapter 5 verses 1 through 6, several key lessons emerge that we can apply to our lives. First, bring your deepest cries to God. Like David, we should not hesitate to pour our hearts out to God, expressing our deepest needs and emotions. 
God is attentive and ready to hear us. Second, develop a regular prayer routine. Consistency in prayer, especially starting our day with it, helps us to stay aligned with God's will and remind us of our dependence on Him. Third, recognize God's holiness. God's intolerance for sin calls us to strive for holiness in our lives. We must examine our attitudes and behaviors, seeking to align them with God's standards. Fourth, avoid deceit and harm. Integrity and truthfulness are essential in our relationship and interactions. We should strive to be honest and avoid actions that harm others, recognizing God's despisal of these sins. And fifth, trust in God's justice. Even when we face opposition and deceit from others, we can trust in God's justice and His commitment to righteousness. Applying these lessons to our daily lives can transform our relationship with God and others. When we bring their deepest cries to God, we build a more intimate and trusting relationship with Him. Developing a regular prayer routine helps us to stay connected to God and aligned with His will throughout our day. Recognizing God's holiness and striving for righteousness in our own lives not only honors God but also sets a positive examples to those around us. By avoiding deceit and harm, we build trust and integrity in our relationships, reflecting God's character to others. Finally, trusting in God's justice gives us peace and assurance, even when we face challenges or opposition. We can rest knowing God sees all and will act justly in His time. As we conclude our exploration of Psalm chapter 5, verses 1-6, through 6, let's carry these lessons with us on our journey. Bring your deepest cries to God. Develop a regular prayer routine. Recognize God's holiness. Avoid deceit and harm. And trust God's justice. By doing so, we'll align ourselves with the Psalm's timeless wisdom and navigate life's complexities with faith and assurance. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Wisdom Trek. May these insights from Psalm chapter 5 inspire and strengthen you as you continue your trek through life. Until the next time, keep seeking God's wisdom, cherish each moment, and continue making a positive impact in the world around you. And if you found this podcast insightful, please subscribe and leave us a review. Then encourage your friends and family to join us and come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, and most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. As we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.